Maddie, I'm 12 years old, I have four rabbits, four cats, um, and I help look after a horse called Desmond, which is the big brown horse you can see on most of the pictures, um, and Jack, I used to ride him for four years, he is 27 and died of old age, sadly, um, uh, I've been riding for seven years, and I got bucked, well, I've been with horses seven years, and I got bucked off three years ago, and what I learned is, mm, if you fall off, get back on straight away. It always helps. I haven't ridden a horse since I got bucked off and I really regret it. And never let that stuff bring you down and say you're a bad rider. Um, and just live your life the way you want. And you're watching Day by Day Vlogs. Good morning, day fam. Happy Saturday to you guys. We have a lot of stuff going on today. So much exciting stuff. It might end up being two videos because we have so much cool stuff happening. Good morning. Anyway, uh, we are just headed out because we're going to uh, two fun places, three fun places. I got these. They're wet wipes um, for the barn. Sabrina's in heat, so yeah. No, for my new horse. What? They're not for my horse? They're for your new oh. horse? They're only for girls. Well, boys can have them too, clean their nose and stuff, but yeah. yeah. All right, I guess. We bought them for our horse. Already, you forgot what? about our horse? He's, he's, he's our horse still. Yeah, he is our horse, but what about Sabrina? Are you gonna forget Sabrina about her? Sabrina can use them. Are you gonna forget about Plus her? Plus it's um, easy to clean like mud off of them. Yeah. Okay, so. What I wanted to tell you guys is that um, when Ruby used to sleep in a crate when we left because she wasn't potty trained when we first got her, her old owners had a hard time, hard time. She was two and a half years old and still not potty trained. So while we were potty training her, we kept her in a crate when we left the house and she used to have the worst anxiety. Anyway, recently she's been so good. We kept her, we don't put her in the crate when we leave, but she's always like, she'll see us put her coat on and she'll race to the door and we can barely get out the door without her freaking out. Then after that, she would run upstairs as soon as she saw us getting her coats on and run into Nick's room and lay with Nick because she was so afraid to be alone. And, and now this is what's happening. We have all have our coats on. We're ready to go. We all have our coats on. Where's your coat? On the and this is where Ruby is. She looks completely relaxed, not even the least bit stressed out. Well, she's breathing a little hard. <laughs> but yeah, she's just she's laying impressed. there chill. Yeah, maybe. Maybe she's like, man, they're going again. But you guys should know. Yeah, we don't leave for hours at a time. So we are headed out. We'll probably be gone for about two hours. We'll come home, spend hours at home, and then go to the next spot. So um, that's what we do all the time. We just don't always vlog the parts where we come home and go out again. All right, you guys, we are at dun, 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 dun. Wilton Tack. It's close by the farm that we're looking at, and um, we are gonna go and see what we can find for our new horse. Gabby's like, let's go. I need a plane ride. Those are this pony is, halters. I know. All right, let's this keep would going. Fit Ruby let's go. We, yeah, we should get a halter for Ruby. Mm -hmm. That'd be the coolest thing. Whoever said that diamonds are a girl's best friend never owned a horse. Nice. That one, That's a saddle cover. That isn't looks it? like a bareback pad. No, that it's a saddle. Oh, so nice. That is a saddle I, I think want. It's a bareback pad. All right, come on, let's keep it's going. Coffee. Look at these jumping boots. I love white. I love. Yeah. She likes the massaging yeah. glove. Gel. I okay, Sophie's just gel. addicted to a gel thing. We have that one. All right, see if they have a glove. Oh, we didn't get a gel one? Look at this. Oh my gosh. So his color is red, she decided. Oh, and there's a red one too. Yeah, that's cute. Red and blue. She wants red and blue, but you need but to pick on one color. One color for me to buy first. Red. Is it soft on his nose? No. It's got padding. How much is that one? It's not for my man. It's nice. That's Nobody knows what they want, but we want to buy stuff. Even though we don't own them yet and we haven't done the pre-purchase okay. exam. But anyway, so, uh, Gabby, oh, this is my favorite section. <gasps> Mom, All the the. All the saddle pads. Look at, the sa look at this one. Yeah, I need a, a bridle. 
brighter one. Yeah, you want super bright, right? This is the thing that Sabrina has, yes. Need a brighter. <gasps> oh, that that's one's cool, cute. except for all the horses on it. It's be blue. So the really good thing about this tax store is that even though it's far from our home, I can order anything and it'll go to the barn. So I can order things for her birthday and she would not even know. What are we looking for? A setting brush? Mm -hmm. What is that? Okay, if you want to get that. You don't want a color? Look at all these colors you can get. Look at this one. Red one. Look, it's got two. Look. And I like this one. What are we buying now? I'm buying cheese grater stirrups if they're the right size for us. They're Canadian. Well, then that's perfect. Wait, another bonus. Two tools in one. This is a small one. Oh, you can't get a cob. You need a, a regular horse size. This looks about his size, yeah. though. I know we have time, but... He needs a horse size. I legit don't know what's gotten into Sam, but he's like saying, yeah, pick whatever you want. I'll just buy it for you. And I'm thinking Easter's coming up. Gabby's birthday's coming up. And Gabby's thinking, yes, there's something wrong with my dad. Let's do it quick before he changes his mind. She's got two halters there. <laughs> no, uh, this is Cobb. There might only be Cobbs. Oh, well, that's a sign. That looks smaller. Okay, so we are just outside the house property. And I'm just going to show you guys. Oof. Already, we love it. But apparently inside, it's a big fixer-upper. Your destination will be on the right. I love the way the house is pointed toward the property. You have to build a fence and then there's the house, but it looks better from the front. It looks so nice. Right, so, don't even know how to get in this house. Look at all the property. It goes way past those trees. Look at the porch. That's like a little porch and it's well, all grass. You come up to these trees. So we trees, think that the owner died and that's why it's kind of old inside. But yeah, a pasture there, Sophie. And then pasture they there. Can come up and watch. And we can come You want your horse to come look at you through the window? Uh -huh. So there's the front. How do we even get in this house? So I don't even know. So there's the back. Yeah, so it goes back. It goes really far that way to a creek. Hey, okay, a little bathroom right there. Now that was added on, I'm pretty sure, in the, uh, probably in the 80s. All right, so this is a bathroom. It's basically no bathroom. This is the kitchen. So even though it's all old, it's cute. I like the size and the shape, I like. My room. Oh my god, that's the back stairway. That's so cool. Look at the Yeah. So this house needs a lot of work, but it's adorable. Wow, this is like going into like a scary movie. This is the tiniest bedroom. Oh, it's so adorable though. Like, there's a big closet there. Big spot for a dresser here. Obviously, we wouldn't put the bed like that. We'd turn it. But it's cute. So that's the basement door. So this is the living room. And it's quite cute. I love this kind of stuff. Front door. Stairs to go upstairs. What is this room? Like a den or something? Oh, this. what's that room over there? What's that room? Dining room? Okay. My light. Dining room. And then what's this room? Office? This is the living room. Stairway. Dining room. And then there's like that little room down there. And a big closet over there. And a kitchen. Up the stairs we go. Wow, big bedroom. Cute little old chandelier. The floor, everything feels really solid. So this is the master bedroom, and then this is straight, straight down to the kitchen. Is that cute? Flashlight's not working. Mm -hmm. So this is our bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Oh. It needs a lot of work. A lot of closet. So then this 
lots of ghosts in this house, I bet ya. So, no, just joking. This would be whose bedroom would this be? Okay, go ahead. What? This one's what? This one's bigger? I think they're exactly the same. And then this, you gotta be turning the light in here. Is this a bathroom? This is a closet? This could be a bathroom. We have to live in our... This house would be adorable. The girls are giving me... It's a nay. The girls are giving me the evil eye. I don't know. It's a nice tall ceiling, which is what I like. It would be like so much work to fix it. No. What do you think? Do you like it? Yay or nay? Yay, Yay or nay? You? you? I don't know. I'm thinking nay. Yeah. I'm too lazy. I'm taking dad's outnumbered. I'm too lazy for this much work. But I like the space. Like the space and the layout is adorable. Like I love the ceiling in this room. So this is the living room. And this would be the living room. So all it like it has really nice floors and all it need would need to be redone. New wallpaper. And then this would be like our computer room. Or our homeschool room. It's nice and bright. We put a table in here. But I love the floors. Like I love them. I'm not moving my computer in this house. And there's a spider. Right? Yeah, well, if there's a spider, then we're not moving here. Holy cow. Daddy, you guys see that? Okay, well, Sam's not in the car. The girls are begging me to tell him not to put an offer in. So, did you like it? <laughs> did you like it? I love it. It's yeah. like camping. I like it because be like if it was redone, it would be so cute. Like, it had lots of big, like, the rooms were big. It'd be like camping. Yeah, so uh, yay or nay, Sam, because we already all voted. <laughs> yay! Okay, now we want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think that this would be something that we could endeavor to finish, to redo? The floors were nice, the ceiling, or not the ceilings, the foundation was nice. Like, the house is sturdy. Structurally, it's good. Structurally, it was, like, so sturdy and so good. It has good water, really has good well. land. <laughs> this thing out. Sophie's like, I'm not moving my stuff into this house. All right, you guys, so we, we are at Denny's for lunch. What is it Because we're far from home still, and we're all starving. Oh, look at that house. It's starving. Look at the attack. It makes you starving. Sam is crunchy. <laughs> what are you getting, Gabby? Yes. Gabby's getting a double cheeseburger. I do not know where so she puts it. She only eats twice a day. The only reason I come to Denny's is for breakfast. But that looks good. Prime rib Philly melt. Fun fact, when Sam and I first met each other, we went out to eat and the only restaurant that was open at the time of the day it was, it was late at night was Denny's. And Sam's like, let's recreate what we ordered that day. And I'm like, do you even remember? It was how many years ago? It was 25 a lot of years ago, like almost 100. 20 years ago. 25. Feels like 100 today. Today it feels like 100. And I got the lumberjack slam. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I get a double cheeseburger. I could order Laura something. Laura ordered a poutine. No, I didn't. I am, I am not a poutine lover. For any of you guys who don't know what poutine is, it's like gravy and french fries <laughs> and cheese curd. That's insane. That's with no tomato or onion. Oh my gosh, there's no way. All right, so oh, I went I super yeah. healthy, mostly, and like got this. eggs and bacon. No, and these guys all got crazy burgers. And Sam, mm, smells so good. Sam, you gotta live, gonna don't. No, that's two burgers in a week, for gonna sake.